Uh, welcome to the making of the Dutch Master de Hock. I am going to try and explain to you what I found and what I think are the contributing factors to making this a Dutch masterpiece. As you can see here, the work is done by a Dutch master without too much effort. But what I have to point out is this surface painting here was done 350 years ago. And uh, in the interim, about 100 years ago, for preservation purposes, it was relined. And on the back is a, an additional canvas that is relined for the purpose of uh, preserving the canvas on the front. This was done by a scientific process, which I said is relining, which means that the back piece was adhered to the front piece with glue. But through a process of aeration, they had it to uh, diminish the intensity of the glue so that the quantity would not cause ripples on the front painting and uh, therefore distort it or cause some kind of a problem. In addition to that, this has been recently carbon dated, which means the experts in New Zealand took a piece of the painting and tried to find out the date without having any background information. They came to the conclusions that there were two dates being found on this painting. The part for the 1600s indicates the surface painting was done in the 1600s. The painting, which is a canvas to the rear, was done in the 1800s. These two readings come up as part of a single analysis of carbon dating. But the most important thing is that the painting itself is from 1600. Now, as you look at it, on the perimeter of the painting, the overlap, there has been graphite writings. And on those graphite writings, I would call it a blueprint. Information was left in light of the fact that the re-gluing may very well have uh, uh, re reduced the visibility of signatures and other vital contents within the surface painting. Uh, the most important thing is that data has to be looked at and then attributed to the areas that the uh, information uh, refers you to. In addition, this older man here, who uh, was, uh, I believe, one of de Haak's Dutch favorites, it ex he exists in an earlier painting done by de Haak, and at some point there will be a comparison uh, analysis made of all the features in this man as well as the existing painting that is in the museums. This painting uh, with the old man and the other side by side could show that the nasal uh, efforts and the eyes and the various uh, components of his face are identical. The only thing, it was done at a different time, but the subject was the same. I will continue on the next uh, uh, segment on YouTube. Thank you.